before this video starts, I know that the title was a little extreme. And also, I do want to mention that someone's death shouldn't be taken lightly um, and shouldn't be used for personal gain. This video is simply for educational purposes, uh, kind of like current event uh, discussion. And, um, you know, when it comes to YouTube, sometimes you have to put an extreme title to get people to click on the video. However, uh, this topic is very serious, uh, both for you as a consumer, as well as this person and their family. So I would like to start the video off by saying rest in peace to Mike Williams. I know that this death isn't uh, as recent as the news reports make it seem, but we'll get into all the details in the video. Um, I just wanted to make sure I started off by saying rest in peace to Mike Williams and that I hope his family uh, find some sense of peace in this holiday season because dealing with death is not easy at all. So I wanted to make a video about a current event topic that has been so, uh, kind of not trending, but big news in the dental world. Um, and the reason why I wanted to make it is because I felt the need to bring awareness to this topic for the general public to understand the severity of, you know, this field and this profession. So, you know, let's just get right into it. Uh, as mentioned before, please, if you find this information useful, helpful, share it with somebody, consider subscribing to the channel. Like I said before, all of the money that is gained from this channel goes into the pre-dental scholarship. So you as a subscriber are directly helping fund someone's dream to become a future dentist. As you can see, the need for dentists is great. And if you don't understand that now, you may understand better at the end of the video. So this topic has been circulating around the dental world surrounding um, former NFL player Mike Williams autopsy report that was just recently released saying that uh, he passed away from dental related sepsis according to the men medical examiner. I pulled this article from CNN. I did a little bit of research on my own obviously before making this video but I already seen a lot of details circulating on Instagram and TikTok considering I follow a lot of dental professionals on those platforms. So the CNN article says that Former NFL player Mike Williams cause of death has been determined to be dental related sepsis, according to an initial case summary report released by Hillsborough County Medical Examiner's Office. Before I get into the rest of this article, I must say this topic may be controversial. I have seen the, uh, things on Twitter mentioning that, uh, you know, this may, you know, some people don't consider this the real reason. As I get into the article, you will definitely understand why. I can definitely understand why. However, I am just presenting the facts that have been presented to the general public and um, you know, bringing awareness to the fact. So, Mike Williams died on September 12th in Tampa, Florida, following a construction accident. The 36-year-old sustained a work-related accident on August 21st involving heavy supplies landing on his head. He was then admitted to an ICU at a local hospital and had gone into cardiac arrest before being intubated and sedated. His cause of death has been listed as bacterial sepsis with cerebral abscesses and necrotizing labor pneumonia due to multiple caries and retained tooth roots. If you have watched the channel previously, you know that I don't like to clutter my videos with dental jargon. So I'm reading directly from the article, but I will try to put everything in layman's terms after I read from the article. So essentially the article so far has stated that Mike Williams originally was hospitalized due to a severe work accident um, while working in construction. Later on, they determined that the reason he actually passed was because of essentially an infection that started in his oral cavity from caries, which is tooth decay. So it says Williams manner of death has been listed as natural. Cardiovascular disease was also listed as a contributing factor. So that that's basically all that the CNN article mentioned. There are plenty of news articles around. I'm going to just pull some more things from the ESPN article. Essentially, the ESPN article says that the condition, although rare, is linked to poor dental health, decay, and infection. 
Arteriosclerotic cardiovascular disease was also listed as a contributing factor in Williams' death. And I think those are all the basic facts that are listed in the news articles, but we can talk a little bit about, you know, what this means to the general public. So the reason I decided to title this video, you could die if you avoid the dentist, I don't want it to be misleading in the sense that this person passed away because they did not go to the dentist. Essentially, what the article is saying is that poor dental health contributed to his passing after already sustaining that work-related accident, going to the hospital, etc. Now, at school currently, when we treat patients, we always control infection first. Even if you have a patient that needs a full mouth extraction, meaning all of their teeth are coming out, we still give them a dental cleaning before doing that because if there is infection in their mouth and you pull all the teeth and you have all these open, um, you have all these uh, open pockets essentially where the teeth and the roots used to be, this infection can spread into the bloodstream and the blood the bloodstream that goes to your mouth is the same bloodstream that travels all throughout your body. So when you talk about things like bacterial sepsis, essentially the bacteria that is causing the decay in your teeth can go through the roots into your bloodstream and through your body the same way that any other infection can go. Occasionally when people go to the hospital, they have procedures done, whether it be surgeries, amputations, it's anything, you're at risk of developing sepsis, which is a, a bacterial, basically infestation in your bloodstream. And this is, this is, no, this is nothing new. Um, this, you know, sepsis is a very serious thing in the medical community. I used to work in a research lab where we studied sepsis. Um, it's not technically a new concept. However, it's not too often that we hear about someone dying from dental related sepsis. Now, the reason I decided to make a video about it is because I am in touch with the real world, just like the rest of you. Even though I am in dental school working towards becoming a dentist, I understand that there are a lot of people that don't see the necessity in visiting the dentist until they're in pain or until they're having a problem. I know there are a lot of people who don't see the necessity in paying for dental insurance, especially if it's not covered by their job. Um, and I understand that a lot of people don't like the dentist. They don't enjoy going, whether, you know, whatever the reason may be, I am well aware. I think that this stresses the importance of being involved in the community, letting people know like you, you know, you are here to help them. You are here to serve a purpose, to help solve problems. You are here to be relatable. You want people to feel comfortable coming into your office, but you have to, you know, you have to extend that olive branch kind of like you have to set that example and let people know we are here to help. It's extremely hard for people to find a dental home, to, for people to find a dentist that they're comfortable with, that they feel comfortable visiting every six months when they don't have a problem, when they just need their checkups and cleanings, because um, essentially this is how we avoid these problems. Another thing is money, right? Money is tight. The economy that we live in today is terrible if you ask me honestly and people see going to the dentist as an unnecessary expense however i continually try to express to people that the cost of dental treatment only gets more expensive as your problems get worse going to the dentist every six months for a checkup and a cleaning is a much lighter bill than going for a filling which is a much lighter bill than going for a root canal, which is a much lighter bill than going for a implant. You understand what I'm saying? Now, some people just say, you know what? I'll pull, I'll get the tooth pulled. The tooth isn't gonna grow back, you know? Eventually you're gonna have to do something about that, whether it be filling the space with a dental implant, a bridge or whatever it might be, 
or you end up with a removable partial denture or a complete denture if you you know if you want to enjoy this the same foods that you've been eating all your life you need teeth to chew on them and it's tough you know hindsight is always 2020 people always will say well had i known this i would have done this better etc same way like you go into the dental office you find out you need a root canal you said how had i known i would have need, needed a root canal i would have got that filling when you told me to get that filling or had I known I had a cavity, I would have came in earlier, you know, etc. So I wanted to make this video just to encourage people not to wait until the problems are too serious. Or you have a situation like this where he might have been, he might have already been in extreme pain from what was going on with his teeth. Um, he just didn't have the time to get into the dental office. He had to work. He didn't have the money, whatever it might be. Um, or he could have been, you know, in the process of getting that figured out. But everything takes time. And this time may not have, there, you know, it may have been too late in the sense that he didn't get the chance to follow through with you know, the process that he was in or whatever it may be. So I just wanted to make this video to let people know that avoiding the dentist is not going to get you far. Um, I understand that it's hard. There's a certain stigma that comes with the dentist, whether it be money wise, pain, etc. But I highly encourage you to work on finding a dentist that you like or a dental home that you like because it could cost you your life in the obviously in the most extreme cases but now that we've seen it happen they always say smart people learn from their mistakes wise people learn from the mistakes of others so be wise do yourself a service and you know stick to going to the dentist as a matter of fact i was just at my 10-year high school reunion on friday i hope that doesn't date me too much but I was just at my 10 year high school reunion on Friday. And one of my friends, I literally have not seen her since high school. She said, you know, I, I know you're in dental school. Like I, I've watched some of your stuff. And um, I, you know, I recently found a new dentist and my husband, uh, he hasn't been to the dentist in a while. And now I'm getting him to go back um, and, you know, start getting, working on his stuff because we now see the importance of it. So sometimes you just need that one person that you know that kind of ignites the fire under you to, you know, go and take care of that stuff. And I, I might have been that person for them, but hopefully I can be that person for you all. And we, you know, we all take this and we learn from it. And, um, you know, we continue to do our part as dentists, as pe patients, as people. It's important. And you know, sometimes you just need that extreme thing to happen for you to realize it's important. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video, um, bring awareness to the topic for those who hadn't heard about it yet. Um, and, you know, hopefully this inspires you if you're one of those people that have been avoiding the dentist to get up and find one. And if you're too scared, you can wait a year and a half and come find me. Or you come find me at school right now. I see patients at school right now. Um, but that, with that being said, hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you watched all the way through. Leave a like on the video if you found it to be important to you. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.